The arms dealer is this week's weekly grandmaster, which is the easiest in this season's rotation. On top of that, this week you can obtain the amazing Plug One, arguably the best arc fusion in the game. This is the last time you're able to obtain this gun before it goes into the Destiny Content Vault, so it's a good thing that 8 minute runs are very achievable. Here's my guide on how to do that. As the strike starts, our Warlock will get the stun on the Unstoppable using Revitalize in Blast and Solar Fulmination. We basically don't need to kill anything else after firing a rocket. I can just run straight through and put the Ghost in. All builds will be in the description at the end. We then push proceed through. Having the player not on galley take down the ship and the aim is to clear as many ads as possible as fast as possible. If we can we will get finishers on any majors or yellow bars. Again our warlock will get a stun on the champion followed by one galley shot. This will enable the void player who is in viz to get the finisher giving us all heavy as he is running Aeons. Our Invis player will then proceed to pick up the orb, while the other two players go ahead to take out the first anti-barrier. A rocket is led. And then a finisher is applied. Unfortunately there the ship does take you out. We do try to ignore this ship occasionally. It will get the better of you for this. Thankfully in this run it doesn't really cost as much time. We take out the next anti-barrier and then ignore the rest of the adds other than firing a guard to clear them and kill the last unstoppable at the top. We then proceed round. Again, ignoring the adds where possible. The hunter is running a healing aid which you can throw out should we require it. For the anti-barrier on the entrance of the ship, we all go round to the left and team shoot this one. This ensures that we are safe. And he's taken out. We then proceed into the room with the two tanks. We totally ignore the first tank, driving straight past it. Again, our void player who goes in viz and hits the first switch. While our other two players rush to the back of the room to take out the two anti-barriers as they spawn. Combination of blades, a grenade and one galley shot is enough to destroy these two thanks to revitalizing vast and solar fulmination. The warlock with the revitalizing blast and solar fulmination then goes to take out the unstoppable which is down below. While the two hunters deal with the three unstoppables coming out.
finishers will be applied to anyone that is available to be doing so. If they're not available, we just proceed on. Very occasionally you will have champions spawn up in this corridor. As we do here, the anti-barrier comes to us here. Normally he's in the second room. This means that we only have the one after this first bridge. So we do have the unstoppable. And we make sure we get the finishers. So we have the enough heavy to take out the boss. Fortunately here I failed my jump, trash ads can kill you, you do get overconfident. You'll see here our warlock climbs up the chain which enables the boss to be shot as the crate as the elevator is going up which makes the clearing the boss a lot faster as soon as the last set of cabal are cleared the elevator will start moving up if you look up you will be able to see the boss is there and you can start damaging him ensuring that a galley is fired first everyone will have wolf pack rounds and if you do this right the boss will actually be dead before the elevator even reaches the top. I hope you found this guide useful. Please do let me know in the comments if you did. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Good luck forming your god roll pogbons guys.